Hello everyone, uh, Thijs here again and this time I want to show you another guide. This time I want to show you a guide of MacMage and where I played a lot of MacMage back in the day. Uh, it was a long time ago where I played MacMage before. Um, it kind of felt a bit off, especially because the matchups uh, that are popular on the ladder, uh, for example Paladin, is not really good. But with the new expansion, the League of Explorers, actually the MacMage... Um, has some uh, changes now or there are some other mech cards that came out that are considerable to play in your mech mage deck and that is what I tried to. Uh, this expansion we had the Gorilla bot and the Gorilla bot is a 4 mana 3 4 so it kind of has uh, it kind of has stats for a 3 mana card but if you control another mech discover a mech. So what this card can do uh, you play him when you have another mech on the board and you are able to get a card and if you are playing a mech deck, uh, if you are playing mech mage, uh, this card might be really good uh, just for a spot where uh, to... you don't really need card anymore if you can play this card. If you play this card, um, it's kind of an Ezra Drake for for a mech mage deck you discover a mech and from three mechs there should always be a mech that uh, is good i can show you what the mechs are that uh, that you can get like you see there are some that you maybe don't want but in general there are like the explosive sheep for example but in general the mechs are decent enough to pick up and uh, of course you can also get the really good ones and yeah I think um, that this card if you want to play a mech mage deck I think a mech mage he really deserves a spot and you can also uh, play a bit less of your big minions you don't need a sky golem if you can play this you can make your curve a bit more cheaper because if your curve is cheaper then you can draw with this card again and you should still be fine in the mid game so yeah, rest of the deck, this looks scandalous, we have the Mana Worm with the Unstable Portal. Really want Mana Worm in the deck to have another 1 drop, and Mana Worm is just super sticky. Um, yeah, we have the Portal, it's just an... Um, helps the Mana Worm a bit sometimes. Sometimes at turn 2, you don't really want to play your Max uh, Mac Warper with another 2 drop, is normally in turn 3 play. Uh, we don't play with... I only play with one Tinker Town now, because I think the getting Max um, is more important now. With the Gorilla Bot and with the Blast Mage, you have four cards in the deck that really rely on, um, that have like really big battle cries for getting a mech. So I want to play with more mechs, and Tinker Town is not a mech himself. He provides something too, but I think the effect of the Blast Mage and Gorilla Bot are bigger. Uh, playing with one uh, Clockwork Knight, uh, if you really think this card is not good enough, you can put him out. Uh, sometimes he does a lot, makes good trades happen. 5 mana 5-5, five, five, you cannot go really wrong with it. And of course, Antonidas has boom as late game. So yeah, uh, let's see what we can make out of it. Uh, I think uh, Magmage uh, deserves more love than it has at the moment. Um, it might not be the best deck for lettering, but it is still a really strong deck. And there is a reason why Magmage was half a year ago. Like It was a really common deck in tournament play on ladder. You see it uh, a bit less often now and it kind of struggles maybe with the new Reno Jackson decks a bit more. But I still think uh, Mech Mage uh, is pretty good. Okay, we play against Medivh, Mage. Uh, normally when you face Mage, you can expect Tempo Mage. It might be Mech Mage, but Tempo Mage is, is more uh, common on the ladder nowadays. So... If I have to make a guess, I think it is Tempo Mage. I don't think the Mulligan really changes for me. As I say, this is the reason why Mana Room is in the deck. Making happen that we have a consistent 1 drop. Okay, we're getting uh, some mech synergy here already. Always important in a mech deck. Okay, Mulligan only one card. is a bit tricky. but uh, Okay, getting another mech. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm not the, the biggest fan of playing um, Double Clockwork Gnome, but the reason I really want Double Clockwork Gnome is uh, having a better start and um, because we have two 4 drops that rely on mechs, get, having a 1 mana mech is actually really good for a good turn 5 for example. Interesting. It's interesting.
Okay, so we actually might face a mech mage. Yeah, I think it's just super strong to put two mechs on the board. I don't really know how valuable this attack can even be. Because I really expect to trade here. I think we can just take place here. Well, wait a second. If he plays a mech, he has the value trade here. But he's not gonna ignore my mech warper. I'm pretty sure he won't. Cannot see that he really um, wants that. there it's a bit annoying for us but um, she'll still be decent on board after this turn we have the we can play our mech here um, let's see what spare pot we get maybe it's something really useful uh, the plus one attack turn three or four might get a shredder might be on the board next turn um, it can be spider tank Are the most known. I think we just uh, buff it here because we really want to put the shredder next turn. Um, I'm just playing it on curve to trade pretty decently in a shredder. If we go spider tank, we can't even we can't really make a good trade into a spider tank. But because we know we don't have the mana next turn, it's better to do it now. Well, actually, here we have a good trade. Oh wait. There's the Blast Mage. Yeah, we are just gonna play it safe here. Uh, I just really... Do we even want it? I mean, we can also get away by Shredder here. And do it next turn. I think that's fine. I think we can get better uh, Blast Mages than on, only in 2-1. Something needs tinkering? So we can, if we hit for 3, if we hit 1 here and 2 here, we can trade really well. We just hope. If it doesn't work, then it sucks a bit, but um, if we could just get the 2 hits... Like, it's either gonna hit twice here or twice here, so it's around a 50-50 to, ju to just um, kill it. That's the worst blast match I ever saw. You know? <laughs> that did nothing. That really did nothing. Um, yeah, I think we even wanna do this now. Uh, I mean, we have to play around his blast mage, around uh, his gorilla bot, around uh, his buff cards. It's important to trade, I think. My sincerest apologies. Hmm. Not quite what was planned. Ooh, Hogger. Well, it's something, guys, Hogger. It's something. Oh, come on. What the hell was that Doomsay? We had such a good board. Oh. Yeah, that super sucks. Hmm, doesn't have the answer for Hogger. to kill the max you have to kill the max all the time kill the max we have a taunt here so we shall be fine we cannot leave max up you require my assistance. oh we had already two spare parts i think from the clockwork no and from the tinker town so that is scary oh wow oh wow um yeah that hurts yeah our hand is so bad Hurry up. Portal. Portal. 
Yeah, that Doomsayer, man. Otherwise, we had already... We had a 5-4 Blast Mage that Bolt already dealt 15 damage if he didn't deal with it. We had the Cogmaster and we called get something out of the Shredder. It, it, it is... Like, it's one out of the 100 Shredders that just gets that Doomsayer or something. And Yeah, it really hurts us here. Perhaps. It's super sad that the game is kind of getting decided here by that Shredder. I mean, he has double fireball, but it's some kind of it's a bit annoying to play double fireball minions here. It's still good, so I guess you do it. Yeah, we really need a big drop here. We need an uh, Emboom and Antonidas and or Gorilla Bot, something in that uh, way. A Gorilla Bot will be really good here, actually. It will be better to draw Gorilla Bot here than Antonidas. Double fireball at least for him here. So we have nine, we have ten, we have twelve. Yeah. It's not gonna work. To we cannot smart it here. We don't have enough. Uh, keeping the frostbolt, we can because we can draw Antonidas. It's a cheaper, and we don't have to suicide or uh, snow chugger. But yeah, this is uh, we getting really hard outvalued here. He can even. Fireball my um, snow chigger if he wants because you know we are really out of cards. Powering up portals online. Hello, hello, hello. I can fix anything. I see. I love that. Okay, well, it's playable, so. Right on time. Getting a buff here, can ping it down now. We called already, but it's a buff. It's out of the... But yeah, we know he has double fireball. I mean, there's 10 on board. 22 is what he has at least. Still need a really big draw. We really needed the... The Gorilla bot last turn, I think. Still has double fireball, so yeah, this is super hard. Uh, we really cannot win this anymore. Right, we do this. This. We do this. Six, twelve. He had double fireball, right? Or did he already spend one of his two? Uh, he played Fireball on a minion, so maybe he doesn't have it, but... I mean, I'm thinking of a way to come back in this game, but there are not many ways. Okay, can play it again for 4 damage. Yeah. Now we are dead next turn. Uh, turn too late, my friend Antonidas. Yeah, um. It was, uh, yeah, this game was really sad. I mean, we had such a good opener. We had such a good opener, and then uh, everything just kind of changed by that Antonidas. Uh, by that Shredder, where that came out in Doomsayer. I mean, these, they, these things happen. Uh, it's just important that uh, you, that you see that. Uh, 9 out of the 10 games we were there in a really good spot and it will be really hard for him to make that comeback. Now it happened because there was a board removal but in general um, we, shall be, we shall be ahead there. Okay, playing against Shaman. Uh, shamans nowadays are pretty aggressive. I will for sure keep an Oyotron against Shaman now. Snow Chugger. It doesn't really trade well, right? I mean, I really want to pick up a 1 drop so I can go turn 2, Magwarper Coin, and Oyotron. That's what I want. I think keeping Snow Chugger is okay, but it's super greedy. Well, double Mech Warper, that's... Hmm. 
So now we have to decide if we coin out the McLarper here. Greetings, Roy. Okay, so what the plan is here? We pass turn and then we play McLarper, coin, McLarper, Snow Chigger and Oitron. If we wait here, guys, you can coin out your Magwarper and you can be greedy and it can work. The more consistent play is here. Magwarper, coin, Magwarper and all your two drops are for free. That, and that's what we're gonna do here, guys. Just look what mechs can do sometimes. I, I think it's a pretty decent turn. I think... Well, he had a really good start. I mean, we are not in an insane spot here yet. Because he had the turn 1 into the turn 2, what was really good for him. Oh wow. Yeah, I wanna play curfew because if I frostball this turn, I don't get much. And next turn I can frostball ping and clear a bit more. So we're gonna play Tinker Town here. Gonna make this trade, I think. Uh, we don't have Max in the hand, so they're not really similar guys. So, and the rest goes face. He's overloaded for one, so no uh, Shredder or something incoming. He wants to make the value trades. Pretty reasonable to make value trades here. I mean, we, you cannot really smork it yet. In my opinion. Hmm. What to do? Yeah, that doesn't do much, right? Okay. Um, this one is still frozen next turn. So we can just ping here and frostbolt the other one. Yeah, because it is uh, frozen, he made the attack into the snow chugger. Uh, means that he can, that we uh, are still able to ping it next turn. Pretty weak for him. Ah, but he gets the healing totem. Are you kidding me, guys? Gets the healing totem. Oh, man. Yeah, we really need something to play now. I mean, it's something. We're just gonna drop it here. As I said, 5 mana, 5-5. Five, five. It's already pretty decent and strong from himself. We know he goes in his overloading turn, where he is overloaded for 2. We really need to get to that boom turn. Uh, it's gonna be important for us. Lava burst, okay. Hey, this healing, this guy is gonna heal back to its full life. Let's see what we can get out of this. Uh, not super good, right? But. Let the pain speak to me. Yeah, and I think we're even gonna um, stealth it, because otherwise he has a really good attack. Now we can bl play boom and it will have 3 attack, because of the boom bots are also max. He is overloaded again. Uh, like, he has really good removal, but it is costing him a lot. It's gonna overdraw, or it's gonna overload himself more. If he gets a lava shock here, it's pretty good for him, but... Okay, he decides to go face now. Or not. Or what? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah, we cannot get away by not playing uh, Boom here. We have to go Boom. Otherwise, we are just looking really behind. Don't see the reason to attack yet with the uh, Acolyte. Uh, for sure that we are pressuring Lethal here also now. Uh, with a Fireball, it looks already pretty hard for him. If he... 
expects expects us having a fireball. It's three. That's pretty low. I mean, if we didn't lava shock, then he has five. I mean, and it cannot all. It cannot be lethal, right? Is he really that close to lethal already? With a lava shock, how much was he overloaded? He was overloaded for four. So he gets uh, four mana back. He has five on board. Like, that cannot be enough, right? Yeah, I really want to get something, and uh, Annoyatron is good. Healbot might even, like it's also a mech. I'm pretty sure we're gonna play it here, so uh, let's see what we get. Annoyatron has to be the pick here. I just need to drop all my stuff here, kinda, because it pressures more for lethal. I don't really care about this taunt totem. Um, like, it's annoying, but... Um, so many go good draws that are gonna get us lethal here. One one, probably the worst totem for him, because it's really bad. A uh, healing totem will be really bad too, and uh, spell power totem might really help him to get that last burst that he needs. So yeah, Annoyatron is just blocking here 5 damage. Well, actually 3 because the Lepernon will always deal 2. But it blocks the attack from the totem. Uh, from the totem golem if he doesn't have a better answer. Like, he can't play a spell into it, but... Like, is it worth it? Now you deal 3 damage in an Annoyatron with 2 HP. So how much damage do we have on board? We have 10, 13, 14, 14 is gonna be left. We need to get rid of that taunt totem, so that's gonna take one damage. Uh, we just need a fireball or something. A blast mage. So anytime we pick up a fireball, we have two draws from this one. I want to draw for two cards here. Now we are. We had to attack there for this card, but we had to attack, so now it's not lethal anymore. Maybe we can get something from Portal that is make it as a bit safer. We are two damage off here. Roll is. Okay, so yeah, well, I mean. We have to hope he doesn't have enough burst here. Well played. And he picked up a crackle. Uh, I'm so sad that we lost this now. Oh, we had so many draws that got help there. Uh, that crackle draw was uh, was enough. He needed one more card for her damage. He had double lightning bolt and a weapon. The rock by the weapon, so needed one more card. Oh man, guys, we are getting shrecked here. Gonna play one more game. Wanna show you the power of the deck. I mean, our stat was so powerful. We just missed the mid game where we really had to 
uh, do some suboptimal turns where we played like Cogmaster and past turn and at the end we needed like one big burst card uh, we needed the fireball uh, and we drew it right after our trade so that was super sucky but yeah like the deck has power guys the deck has good power Jaina versus Malfurion I must protect the one you asked for it um, I think keeping three drops is pretty tricky against Truth. Uh, would like to have like an, another one drop or something. Oh, this is a bit meh. Uh, I really don't like turn one Clockwork Gnome into a Druid. They just have um, because their hero power just kills it. But we cannot get away by not doing it. I think. I'm not gonna coin out the Clockwork Gnome. I think. I don't really see the big benefit of it. If he goes to Arnassus, we play Snow Chigger. If he plays Wild Growth, we can still decide. You see, he already refs, so... Um, yeah, I don't think it really benefits us of playing the Snow Chigger here. Or uh, the Clockwork Gnome last turn. Snow Chigger pretty okay here. I'm uh, gonna see what he's gonna do here. If he plays Shade, we have a pretty good Blast Mage. Just gonna go with the blast match here. We need two hits on the Ezra Drake, and we have a pretty nice one. I don't know what's going on, guys, but um, deck is pretty hard this way. We're getting really wrecked by our uh, blast matches. Yeah, look this. I can tell you now. Just because we didn't make the two hits. Yeah, we can ping it next turn, right? Otherwise, we don't have a good board into the uh, Darnassus. Kinda need to play it so we can kill up Darnassus before he goes into his turn 7. Oh, man. Uh, no, we just can't. We just have to accept that he gets his uh, Emperor here. The other things that we have to do are just more uh, powerful over time. Hopefully it just doesn't get insane value. That's what we are hoping. I should drake for four. That's not a cheaper mm, mana card now. Okay, another one. Mm. So we can go Gorilla Bot with Frostbolt. I like it, I think. Uh, we can buff a minion. I wonder. Let's see what we can get. Macwarper, just to make... It's Macwarper Snow Chugger, right? I think Macwarper is okay. I don't even know if Darnassus is that important now for him. Yeah, huh. I think because he has his hand so cheap as he wants that he can make pretty efficient plays anyway. So, deciding to kill the uh, Ezra Drake with the Emperor over the Donastus here. Like, yeah, two mana swipe. good for us so yeah it was the right decision of us not killing the Darnassus at all because you see what he's doing with this leftover mana uh, playing boom here we need to get it on the board pretty decent 
Probably has combo pieces, maybe a wild rope that he wants to save. Might have a combo. Yeah, we don't have full combo here, right? Okay, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I showed you a magmage guide. The score didn't go that well. Uh, I just still hope you enjoyed the guide. I mean, uh, the guides are not like it doesn't sometimes matter if you win or lose. It's also just impo important to see the strength and I think everybody called see the first game where you get really wrecked by the Doomsayer. The other two games we had really terrible blast matches. Um, it happens. Um, I still think the deck is pretty good. Try it out yourself once. I, I played it 10 games on stream. I won 7 out of the 10 games. Uh, it's not gonna be the best deck but it's a cool deck. It's a fast deck and yeah, maybe you will enjoy it. So uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.